Welcome to the fifth week of the Cleveland Browns High School Game of the Week presented by PNC Bank and Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Today we are joined by Avery Diedrich, who is a junior here at Brexville Broadview Heights, and she's also the team photographer. Avery, looking through the lens, what did you see tonight and how did the bees come away with the win? Even looking through the lens, you can just see the grit and determination this team has. You know, play by play, you saw it continuously. We corrected ourselves. We, we fought for every blade of grass that we got and the score shows it tonight. It's obviously homecoming weekend. Uh, what was the atmosphere like here at school this week? It was fun. You know, everyone's been looking forward to it. We've had spirit week, so everyone's been coming together. Uh, the last few weeks have actually been really rough here, so this was a very good, like, lightening the mood type of night, and everyone needed this. On the first play of the game, the Tigers attempt a halfback pass, but it's intercepted by senior defensive back Steve Klaus, setting up the Bees with great field position. The interception sets up a 28-yard reception to Sam Wiglis from Luke Stenard, giving the Bees an early 7-0 lead. At the start of the second quarter, Twinsburg gets their first points of the game with a 32-yard field goal from Casey McCarthy, making it 7-3. Twinsburg takes the lead when Jalen Tucker connects with Christian Edgerson from 24 yards out. The Bees' Alex Buckley rips off a 33-yard run, setting up a three-yard Luke Stenard rushing touchdown, extending their lead 14-10. Late in the second half with Twinsburg driving, our game MVP, Sam Wiglis, comes up with an interception, giving the ball back to the Bees. After the interception, Sam comes up with a big grab down to the 18-yard line, and on the next play, comes down with an 18-yard reception with 21 seconds left in the half. The Bees start the third quarter with a nine-yard touchdown strike from Stenard to Joey McGunley. Christian Edgerson rips off a big kick return, but fumbles a ball in Bees territory. But Chris Jones comes down with an interception, setting up a one yard Jalen Tucker rushing touchdown, bringing Twinsburg back within striking distance, down 10 points with a quarter to play. Sennard finds another B in the end zone. This time he finds Ken Ganley, extending the lead 41-24. Twinsburg's James Bissett, brings down another reception for a touchdown, making it 41-30 Bs. Alex Buckley finds the end zone again, this time from three yards out, extending the lead 48-30, giving the Bs their fifth win of the season. It's, it, you guys are 5-0, oh. it's homecoming weekend. Um, what, what did you guys experience here tonight? What type of atmosphere did, did your fans bring to this game? And, and really, what did you guys have to do to get the game win tonight? Well, we always talk about homecoming week being a week of distractions. I think we did a good job just enjoying it more than being distracted and enjoy the atmosphere, the fans, and the festivities. And it was good. It was fun. You and Luke seem to have a lot of chemistry. Um, he, he has a lot of patience, lets you get open, and, and a lot of trust in you with your routes. Um, talk about your relationship with him and, and you know how he trusts you with the ball. Well, I've known Luke since we were little kids. Our parents played sports together, so we've been on this field a lot all summer, almost every day, and we it's paying off now, and it's good to see that. Coach, Coach said you guys work a lot together, um, and it's certainly paid off. Uh, you also had a pick on defense, uh, thrown in there because of injury. Do um, you enjoy playing defense and, and do you expect to play a little more this year with a type of performance? I do enjoy it very much. I was, I've always played defense my entire career, so it's fun to finally step in and get a chance to play both ways. It's a lot of fun. Great. What, uh, you guys are 5-0. Oh. What's your expectation for the rest of the season? We just got to keep playing like we've been playing, keep playing as a team, and I think we can do very successful this year doing that. All right, we're joined by Coach Black. Coach, you guys are 5-0 and oh now. Obviously, it's homecoming weekend. Um, what type of expectations do you have for this team uh, finishing out the year and, and with how your guys played tonight as well? Um, I was proud of how our guys played. Uh, we, we battled through a game. Um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't always the best, but you got to credit Twinsburg how hard they played and, and, and they created us a lot of challenges throughout the game. Um, our, our expectation as we move forward is man, we, we expect to go out and compete and go out and win every single time. Uh, we have a formula for success here over the past few years. And uh, when we vary away from that, we become uh, very predictable and we become um, 
uh, a little, a little um, not, not the way it's supposed to be played. So as, as we keep working forward and we keep doing the right things, um, our expectations are we should be in every football game as we, as we move out. Thanks. Um, obviously, a lot of plays tonight, a lot of touchdowns. Um, Luke seems to have a lot of trust in Sam. Um, and, and you made it hard for us picking an MVP, but Sam is going to be our MVP. Um, talk to us a little bit about Sam and what he brings to the team, not only on offense, but defense, too. Uh, Sam and Luke have spent numerous times, this is their second year playing together, and they've spent a lot of time together uh, perfecting their routes, perfecting their timing, perfecting everything. Um, and, and it really paid off this summer when we were doing our 7-on-7 seven seven circuit and they started to develop an even better chemistry. Um, they are um, a dynamic duo and they're fun to watch play. Um, and, and Sam, you know, we weren't having much plans of him playing defense, but due to injuries, due to you know, needing to make a few stops every now and again, we, uh, we throw Sam in the game for defense. But um, it's a credit to their hard work. I mean, they worked their butts off. I mean, they spent the extra time, and I'm glad they're being rewarded for it with a few successful plays these first few weeks. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Cleveland Browns High School Game of the Week. Be sure to visit clevelandbrowns.com slash community to cash your vote for next week's matchup. For Avery Diedrich, I'm John LaForce. We'll see you next week.